Hello girls, welcome back to my channel. So my name's Emily, if you're new. If you're not, I haven't been here in a wee while. Um, so I thought for like a comeback video that I would do like an introduction sort of video. So I have a few questions actually. I put up a poll on Instagram, not a poll, a question box on Instagram. So thank you so much to everyone who sent me some questions because that sort of helped me to like know what to talk about. Um, Cause I don't really do like a chatty video. Like it's not really, not that it's not me. Like I don't know when to stop talking. I think that's the issue. So I thought I'd do a nice chatty video and this is what we're gonna do today. Um, I also have stuff, some stuff from H&M and like something from Zara that I wanted to show you too, because why not? And um, I'm actually currently wearing um, some of the stuff that I got from, I'm gonna move this chair out of the way. Um, not this top, but these like shorts, they're actually quite nice. I got a pair in like black. So they're like a ribbed thing. Um, and they were in sale. So I think these were like four pound, um, but I got a black pair in, these are small, right? But I got a black pair and an extra small. So I got an extra, I have a black pair and I got an extra small in them because it wasn't small and they actually fit a wee bit better than the small. <laughs> so, and then um, I got something else in an extra small and I was like, I think it must be an extra small in H&M or have they like just randomly changed their sizing? Like, I don't know. Uh, if you're a size like eight, like I am, then um, five foot three, I would recommend an extra small with H&M now uh, rather than a small. So anyway, but I, I got these shorts and they're actually so, so comfy. Like I've already worn the black ones and they're already in the wash because <laughs> I dirtied them. So basically, some of the questions I got, I have them written down because I film my phone because I don't see the point in buying like, a camera for YouTube because my camera is so good. Like I just feel like it'd be a waste of money. I think it'd be quite good um, for like storage reasons, obviously, but like other than that, it's fine. So I have a few questions that I thought was quite interesting. Um, one of them was, what do you do for like work? That is like just, I knew that question was gonna come up and I think like everyone wants to know what everyone else does, you know? Like if people turn around and say they're not nosy, like you're such a liar. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, there is a wee bit of sun coming out. Oh my goodness, it's literally, see when the sun comes out, I just glow up. Uh, look at the state. <laughs> this always happens to me every time I film. Like every single time. Every time. So yeah, if you think that you're not nosy and you don't want to know, you're such a liar. Like I, I'm so nosy. Like, I always want to know what people do for their job. So basically what I do is I teach English online to kids in different countries. So I have kids from Italy, France, Spain, Mexico, Korea, Germany, literally like anywhere sort of like in the world I have the kids um, and I teach them. I also do teach adults as well. I have a few adults, but I do seem to pick up a lot more kids, which is great because I love to like sing and dance and everything. And I always make my lessons really fun. So whenever I'm teaching an adult, it's good to have a good conversation, but whenever I teach a child, it's usually good fun. So yeah, that's what I basically do. And I do it off my room, like I do it online. Um, and I absolutely love it. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my goodness, there's the sun again. Um, another question that I got was, um, do I always have curly hair? I think that one was funny. Um, yes, I actually did. I've always had curly hair, um, but it did, act well, sort of like yes and no because it actually disappeared whenever I was younger and I don't know why like people used to say to me like where did your curly hair go um I don't know like it was such a stupid question like I don't know at the age of like nine I don't know where it disappeared to um so it was like just like a kink my curly hair curly hair actually came back whenever I was like 13 14 um um and then I just started like using mousses and things and different things but I really didn't start my curly hair journey until I was like I think 17 or 18 probably and um, where I properly was like I need to understand how where what products and how to sell my hair properly so that's when I really really started um and I absolutely love my hair and the reason I love it so much is because I lost it and then it came back so that is why I love it so much because I know what it's like to have hair that is frizzy and it like no matter if you straighten it it won't straighten and it won't go curly either and it was just a nightmare so I know what it's like so anybody who thinks that um they have curly hair or that their hair is really frizzy like it might be like you might have like a curl in it so definitely um so yes i have always had it but it did disappear and then it came back so that is definitely like made me love my curls so much um but yeah another question i got was how do you deal with down days um <laughs> i think like this is so hard because there isn't like one thing that I like particularly would do really. Like I suppose like I've been to counseling like loads of times and um, like I've only actually stopped recently. Um, I would highly, highly, highly recommend it to anybody who, do you know what I mean? It doesn't really know 
how, how to like sort the stuff out in your head. So like sort of what I would do, what I've sort of learned to do is if I catch myself like really in this like negative like atmosphere, like, you know, just in my head really more than anything, I would randomly just be all like, that's pink and that's pink and that's pink and that's blue and that's orange and that's red. And I keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it until the negative like thoughts only go away. It could be five minutes I could be doing that, but that seems to work with me. So I find that that works. Um, and especially reading, I would like read, like sometimes I'm not having a great day, I would read, take myself away and read like an influential, influential, influential? Oh, I don't even know, hold on. Influent, I can't even say it. Hold on, I'm gonna get the book that I would read. So the one that I'm actually like currently reading right now is this one. So it's Anthony Robbins, Awaken the Giant Within. It's very good. And um, there's lots of like, like um, activities and I was like what am I trying to say and um, there's lots of like activities in it that you can like do um, and I think it's really beneficial so I'm like over halfway through now and I've learned like quite a lot in it and I think I might probably read it again because you know when you read something the first time you don't really grasp everything that's happening so definitely if I was you I'd pick this book up because it's definitely changed like my mindset and helped me like to keep that mindset I think is what is important it's okay changing your mindset but if you can't keep it then <laughs> you know, until it's really pointless. So um, that's something that I would do sort of my dying days when I start to feel myself like, you know, feeling not great for a few days. I'm like, right, I need to start reading again. I sort of lost my way. Um, another thing I do is meditation as well. Also, I'll put the link down in the description for that. I meditate. I try to meditate like in the morning. To be fair, I haven't meditated in a way while I, which is so bad, but it is something that I like to do. And if I can really get my head like calm, oh, it's an amazing feeling. Like anybody who's experienced it, it's, it's just so good. Um, so I always highly recommend like meditating to people because it really does help cleanse the mind and also cleanse the body and everything. So I would do that um, as well. And like sometimes just like, do you know, just being by yourself. I think like if I'm having a really like down day, sometimes being by myself is is good depending on what my head is if my head's really bad being by myself is not a good idea i need to get out i need to see my boyfriend i need to go see my friends i need to like do something I need to talk but sometimes i just need to listen to my body and you like maybe i take a nap <laughs> you know like things like that really help so i think that's sort of like how i deal with them um but they've they're less frequent now than what they were which is amazing because there was a time where it was like every day i just felt lost and i just had no feeling at all inside me it was so weird um but whenever I went back to council and I was able to talk like it's okay talking to your family and your friends and your boyfriends and all but like like they you I always feel that you can't put the weight on them do you know what I mean it's good to talk to them but whenever you go to like a concert they don't know you and you get to explain absolutely everything from the start and they don't have opinions and they just listen and there's just something about that like for me that like helps so much and I think like don't turn around and you know poo poo it if it's you know, something that you don't think that you could deal with. But like, I think that I'd definitely try it first and then you can turn around and go, no, it's not for me. That's fair enough. But it definitely worked for me. Um, and I would highly recommend it. So basically, I'm not gonna like rant. I don't wanna rant on like too much because I just kind of like keep going. Um, also, let me show you these clothes. So I got this here from H&M as well, right? So we got it the other day. I've looked at this top for like ages. I know it's quite summery and everything, but like, I just sort of like thought to myself, I'm gonna buy it. I think it, it was in the sale. So picked it up, it's size small. Again, it is actually a wee bit too big. <laughs> um, I think it's quite big, like round the shoulders, like when it's up here, but I gotta keep it anyway because it's nice. And I can't be bothered sending it back, but it is really pretty. So I still think it'd be quite nice for like autumn time though, because it's still like got some of those colors in it so I don't know but yeah I really liked it so I picked that up and then I picked up this dress as well this is quite cute actually I got this in a small as well and it is too not too big but like just a wee bit bigger than what I thought wanted um so it's really good because you can like um change the length of the straps which is great and it's a nice color it's not white it's cream spots so um yeah I think it's I don't even know if you can really like see it, but this is it basically. Um, it's short enough, it's a nice, nice length and everything. I think it's just a bit like wide, like around like sort of like the tummy area. But then if, um, when it comes into like autumn time, winter time, you know what it's like here, um, it gets really cold. So I think you could like put um, a polo neck under that there or like even like a jumper maybe I'm thinking because there is that wee bit of room. So no, it's really nice. And it's from their linen collection. So it's really, really thick. It's lovely. It's 
very nice so I'm actually happy um, and then so obviously I picked up two shorts that I'm wearing as well and then I picked up this here from Zara I have had this in my wardrobe like a week or two but I just haven't like worn it but I really liked it so this is it um I really like this my boyfriend Ram was like what is that and I was all like what what do you mean? He was like, what are these here? And I was like, I love them. Like, I absolutely love them. I think the sleeves are so cool. Um, so I don't know. I don't care what he thinks, but I think the colour is really, really pretty. So I don't know when I'll wear this, but I don't really care. I really liked it. It wasn't that expensive, I don't think. Was that? No, it was like 19 or 20 pounds, sorry. And it's from their Join Life collection as well, which I particularly like um, as well. Oh, so yeah it's very very good it's nice nicely made nice and nice though I, I really like it um I think it was like new in as well I'm not really sure I really like it so that's the stuff that I basically like got um I haven't actually tried them on so I, I'll probably like put up with like a reel on Instagram or something whenever I eventually get back into like social media like obviously this is my first video back so um like even the same on Instagram like I haven't even like really posted I've posted like maybe like three times in the last like month nearly two months now just basically because of the situation like if you if you know me then you know that my boyfriend went through cardiac surgery um major cardiac surgery emergency major cardiac surgery not just you know any really nilly stuff like um and then my granny also passed away like last week so it's a wee bit wee bit everything like all came at once and I was sort of starting to get back into Instagram and then the next thing happened and it just was a bit you know it is what it is like there's nothing much you can do about it but that's basically what has sort of like kept me just away from my phone and you know it's been so 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 nice to just live each day and not like really be organizing things or anything like to be fair I didn't really stop teaching I did sort of keep teaching I took a few days off but not like loads um in both situations and like it's just been nice to, to just still live each day as it comes and not even thinking about like next week or the next few weeks or anything or even the next few days so I highly recommend like just really trying to do that because it really helped me I think like cope with everything um at the minute anyway <laughs> but um anybody who's watched this and knows Ryan that Ryan is doing good he's in in my head again which is great and he's back um just being himself I suppose really which is quite good you know um so as long as he keeps going, that's the main thing. But no, he's all good. He, he's um, on the road to recovery is the best way to say it. Um, but yes, so that's really what's keeping me away from social media so much. So um, hence why I already asked the questions on Instagram. And I'm so glad people like replied. Um, so another question was, um, what's your biggest like motivation? To be fair, um, I would have always said like I didn't really have like somebody or someone like that sort of motivated me. Oh look, there's the sunlight. Like how has this even like happened? I just feel like it's just going to glow up everywhere. Anyway, yeah, I sort of feel like I never really had like a thing or a person that really motivated me. Um, but now <laughs> it's sort of like changed. I would say that Ryan actually motivates me, my boyfriend, um, just because of like obviously everything that he's been through and how he just pushes through life and for me I'm just like I'm pretty a positive person and I'm constantly like pushing and driving for the next thing and he's very much the same and I think that that like for me just seeing his motivation being like like he lets nothing stop him and I'm just like if he lets nothing stop him then I should let nothing stop me you know because I don't have any reason you know what I mean so that really is probably my biggest motivation really more than anything and the fact that you know, I want to be happy in life. I want to be able to live life um, as I want. Do you know what I mean? Not what the government says or what, you know, somebody down the road says you should be doing. Like, I literally do everything for what I think is right for me. And I think everybody should do that because I really, really believe that you shouldn't work a day in your life. You know, like, you should just you love your job that much. It doesn't feel like work. And that's really my work ethic. Hence why, like, I teach like when I teach I don't I don't really feel like I'm working do you know what I mean like I do I could do like an eight to nine hour day of constantly teaching and yeah it's tiring but like it's not I'm not sitting I'm not having to like listen to anybody else like tell me how to do it I'm not having to tell listen to anybody tell me how much like this is only what you're getting paid I don't have to listen to like people tell me when I have to work and you know what I have to do like it's all me do you know so yeah I definitely think like you should really be like living your life how you want it 
obviously that doesn't affect other people <laughs> do you know what I mean like living your life how you want it and then it hurting other people and affecting their lives is not is is not what I mean it's just like to the point where like it's beneficial to you and to everyone else around you and as long as you're happy then really that's the bottom line because we're all gonna die <laughs> so do you know like and nobody knows when and that's the scary thing too but you don't think about that stuff so you have to just live each day as it comes and I definitely think that living to make sure that you're happy is probably the biggest one so that's probably like a motivation as well like is in I want to make sure that I'm happy and content and everyone around me is happy and content because if I'm already happy then everyone else then I can help everyone else to be happy or do you know what I mean just be there for them because I always feel like if you're not in yourself you don't love yourself and you're not happy you can't expect to love other people and to bring happiness to other people's lives because you're miserable you know like you need to be in that state of mind of loving yourself and being happy so that then if you can help other people or you can just even just bring that joy do you know what I mean like bring that positivity I'm a very positive person I try to be as positive as as possible I don't really think too much of negatives like don't get me wrong I will be negative sometimes and Ryan probably thinks like what is she on about <laughs> she moans to me all the time <laughs> but like realistically when I really get down to it I'm like no like I need to think positive I need to find a solution and stop worrying about a problem do you know what I mean the problem's there find the solution so that's why like I highly recommend like this this is very beneficial I've also actually read um, The Code of the Extraordinary Mind yeah The Code of the Extraordinary Mind I'll put the link down to it it's a very good one as well um I've also read the not read the secret watched the secret of like the whole law of attraction so I'm all into that as well if you can't tell um I love like crystals as well like yeah I'm so into all that stuff like so so if you're not into that then that's okay but if you are like send me a dm on instagram because I love talking about it so much like I just think it's so cool to be able to just like manifest things like and I have manifested stuff before, so it has worked. It, it does work. It does work. Um, and I've also manifested like negative stuff. Like you have to realize that like everything you think of and do is manifested by you. So like you have to accept everything that comes along, even if it is a bad thing. You have to accept that you obviously done that. But I'm not going to get into it because I'm just going to keep talking about it, and like I'll just go on and on and on. Um. Okay. One of the last questions, actually was um what was your very first modeling experience oh well so anybody who doesn't know I model as well um to be fair I haven't modeled in ages I'm not gonna lie um but my first modeling experience was whenever I was in Cambridge um I went to university over there and I was there for about four years um three and a half actually but I always rounded up to four because why not um and I set up a modeling page and I had photos done ages and ages ago but and I put them up and then this guy messaged me and said, you know, I'm from the Cambridge area, do you want to shoot with me? So then that was my first experience. So yes, I didn't have to go like looking, looking for it, but I was given the tools, um, law of attraction again, and I had to like, the universe gave me the tools and I put it out there and then something came from it. So that's basically one of the things I manifested. Um, and then I sort of like went from there. I've shot with so, so, so many um, photographers, amazing photographers. Um, in Cambridge and London and also back home and it's just yeah it's incredible like it is something I really really love to do like I love just being able to like create a photo like whenever you whenever you've got it created you're like wow that setting was so good that outfit was on point like my stance is good like the whole thing is just yeah whenever you get that it's Oh, amazing it's just it's about being creative it's so good so that was my very first modeling experience and well no not my very very first that's actually a complete lie <laughs> my proper one actually that was how I sort of got into it and how I got the ball rolling to be fair but my very very first was actually I did like a, a Miss Bollywood thing in Belfast oh my goodness like whenever I was like I must have been 17 I think 16 or 17 and my mum seen this and she was like you should do this you should do this and like I went in and I got that was the first time I really like shot like with like a professional photographer and it was such a cool experience and then they took me to the final there was like a whole competition thing they took me to the final I got to wear a Sarare uh, my goodness if my friend Shreya is watching this I am sorry <laughs> that I can't pronounce this see I uh, it's in my head but you really just can't pronounce it a CR ah. Uh, do you know what, like, basically, uh, what is it, a Sarari, Sarari, do you know basically what, like, Indian 
um, people would wear in their cultures, like weddings and things, or even like a day to day basis. But I know like Sharia, she wears it to like weddings and they're gorgeous. But I got the chance to like wear one. It was incredible. I wore this gorgeous one. I got makeup, my hair done. It was so cool. And I went on stage and everything. And to be fair, it was like a catwalk and I hated it. <laughs> I actually didn't like like the catwalk bit. I love the whole like photo shoot point, but I didn't like the catwalk bit. Um, but that was my very first experience. And I knew from then that I was like, I love this and I really wanted to be in it. Um, so yes, I would love to model like full time all the time. Um, but obviously then COVID hit and everything and that sort of like, you know, stopped it basically. So it is something I really want to get back into. So it will eventually come back round, but I don't, worry about it too much but yes so basically that's all my questions um so thank you so much for asking the questions um and like letting me do this like video and um I hope you enjoyed this and it wasn't like too boring um but for me it was quite nice to just sort of like say like what I do what I like to do who I am sort of as a person and um yeah really that is all so thank you so much for watching guys um I hope you find it a wee bit interesting um and make sure to subscribe and join the fan band because why not because i will be back uploading videos and i shall see you next time so thank you bye